Yo, what is going on YouTube? DK back here with another Lost Cloudy video. And today we're going over something a little bit different. We're gonna be going over the algorithm of Lost Cloudy's better pulling. Um, I just wanted to kind of touch base on ideas that I have, actually more opinions than anything. So I do have like a certain algorithm that I follow and I thought I would just share it with you guys to see if maybe you would agree or, you know, disagree. Honestly, like I said, it's just an opinion. So if you guys would like to follow this method, then that, you know, I, I you know, it's awesome. Um, most people have other methods and if you do share them in the comments below, I would really like to hear them. But I have three steps that I like to follow, actually four steps. Um, the four steps that I like to follow and like I said, I just thought I should share them with you guys. So for step one, when you're doing a banner pull, let's say you have accumulated, you know, 90k, 60k, 30k, you know, what have you. Definitely do not pull all at once. Now, I understand that it is exciting to see a new banner, a new character, a new arc, and you, you know, you're, you're so adamant about getting this character. Um, if you're able to pull all blues, it's kind of, in my opinion, it's not recommended to go again, but I do get it 100%. So if you would like to go for a second one, do it with that, you know, but whenever you do get it and it's all blues and maybe one gold, stop right there. Do not proceed any further. I recommend that you just save it for another day. Maybe, and I, you know, when I, when I say another day, I really do mean another day. Do not do any more pulls that day. Kind of relax, be as patient as possible. And then, you know, wait for the day to change on the actual game itself. And then pick a different hour. This is actually more rewarding when you attain a character this way versus spending all of your resources at once and then you're left with nothing. It, it, it just, it's a way to ruin the game for you. And we definitely want to keep this community growing. We definitely don't want to put anybody you know, out just, you know, because they weren't able to pull a certain character. So this is why I'm kind of making this video so that, you know, maybe I can influence more people not to do it this way. Um, I know that you guys do see me do these videos where I do it all at once. Guys, it is just for show. I, I like to have fun, make people laugh. You know, I get shafted in the game. It, it's funny, um, but I, I really don't recommend pe other people doing it the way, you know, us and the content creators go about pulling for characters. Um, so that's why I'm actually making this video, just to kind of show you how I actually really do do the algorithm outside of, you know, the, the world of YouTube and videos. So number one is when I do get blues, um, I definitely don't, I, I might go for a second one, but I definitely try to stay right there. If it, and, I, and you guys know what I'm talking about. You'll get all blues and then all blues one gold and you're like, I really feel like it's going to happen. It's most likely not. So, and if it is, it's probably going to be a duplicate arc. So like I said, Another day, another hour. Be patient. Secondly, we want to go over the friend gotcha. Now, me and a couple other guys have talked about this um, on the Discord and in the YouTube community. We have talked about this friend gotcha. Now, this we have this strange theory on this algorithm for this friend gotcha. Uh, we like to do a 10 pull. Now, if this 10 pull does accumulate all blues, we will go ahead and do a 10 pull. And sometimes it actually does work. We don't. It's not verified. It's not 100%, but it is just fun to watch. You know to see that you like oh wow it actually really does work who knows but it is one way of trying to pull um it makes things a little bit interesting versus just you know spamming you know that 10 gotcha over and over again and not getting anything in one day like i said i, I hate to see that on, that happen to people and, I, and that's why i'm trying to see if this little dk algorithm is going to work for others so try to do that like i said 10 gotcha, free gotcha friend pull, and then go for a, a 10 pull on whatever banner you like. Try that out, see how that works. Now, the Discord and I have come up with this theory, not theory, but idea. It's called YOLO pulling. I don't know if it's already been made up, but it, like I said, I'm not out there too, too far in the community. So this is just stuff that we just talk about and laugh in the Discord. Um, also guys, if you are not part of this Discord, definitely join it. It's a lot of fun. The guys are amazing in there. Um, real positive energy. So we have come up with this idea of YOLO pulling. Now this is a little bit different of, of pulling. This is not, you know, based on day. It's not based on hour. It's based on gut feeling. Now when I say gut feeling is I mean like you could be eating dinner, watching a movie and just get this weird feeling that you, you feel this SSR growing and boiling in, you know, on your fingertip and you just want to press that gotcha button. Go for it. It's a it's a it's a it's a small risk and you know you might get something out of it. I have gotten so many good things out of YOLO pulling and one of them was Derog. I was it was late at night. I tried to pull for her. I had no luck. Next day, is it the next day? If I'm mistaken. Yeah, the, the day had changed already. It was like five in the morning, I think. I just did a paid 100 piece and got her. 
<laughs> so like I said, it actually works sometimes and you it's amazing when it does happen. Um, so YOLO pulling, that is, it's, like I said, it might be kind of corny, but that's just what we call it right now. Maybe somebody else will find a fancier name for it, but we'll just call it that for right now. Spread the word, guys. <laughs> Remember, use that gut. If you feel it coming along, go ahead and take the risk, guys. Um, and do it by random hours, too. Guys, like, just random hours. It, it, sometimes it will work. Now, the last and final thing that I have for you guys today is the paid 100 pulls. Now, I know what most people think, like, I don't want to spend money on this game. I, and I 100% get it. I 100% get it. And I'm, not, and I'm no way enforcing you guys to do this. I just, I just want to throw my opinion out there and see if it works for y'all. I definitely recommend getting like a $10 pack, saving the crystals and using them on the paid because you, if let's say you do have an accumulated like 30,000 and you wanted to do 10,000 free uh, crystals, it will not waste those paid crystals until you get to the very last of it. Um, so you'll keep that 10 pay or that, that certain amount of paid crystals. I definitely recommend you doing the 100 paid and here's why. Not only does it it's just a random paid and I have gotten, I actually gotten several SSRs from this Alice, Alice banner, just a couple of dupes, but I have gotten SSR from the paid banner. I mean, from the paid hundred, hundred, um, hundred crystals. Now with that said, the reason why I also recommend it is the medals here, the second anniversary medals. Now in this case, this is what they're called for the Alice banner. Um, you will get one medal for the hundred paid gotcha. Now you're actually saving, let's say you are maybe looking to pity or looking to spend some some of these, you know, because you are, most likely you will be pulling for this, for any kind of gacha, you will be getting medals or credentials or whatnot. Um, actually, no, just medals, because the credentials are going to be the 300 pieces. You don't want to do that. So you definitely want to do the 100, the 100 crystals and you will get these anniversary medals. Now, with if you were to waste 10 of these, in 10 days you waste 10, you know, and 100 pulls um you're actually saving a lot more than doing 3000 the 3000 uh, crystals for the 10 gotcha um it's just a, a method that i use to accumulate extra anniversary medals or extra you know january medals um just think about it guys it, you know it, it really does it, it could help you you know obtain a character in the end so that's all i have for you guys today on you know this idea this opinion like I said, grain of salt, guys. Um, I just wanted to throw this idea out here because the second anniversary running around, uh, actually just a couple hours away, I, I definitely don't recommend, and I know it's really exciting too, to see all this new content. Um, just make, you know, be careful with your, your crystals, guys. I definitely want you guys to get the most out of it. Um, now, I also want to give a shout out to Adis. Thank you guys so much for the second, the, the two years. I've been with you guys since day one and I've had an absolute blast. Welcome to all the new players that are coming in. This anniversary, if this is your first, is going to be so exciting for y'all. Y'all are going to have a blast. Seriously. Um, make sure you're logging in every day, getting these free rewards. Make sure you're doing that, that Descent of Heroes ticket. Have a blast, guys. And I will talk to you guys on the next video. Have a good night. Peace.